G'day Nigel here from Sax School. Today uh, I want to show you how to play one of my favourite Christmas songs, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It's a brilliant tune, it's lovely, and it's a nice tune to learn because it's actually it's quite repetitive. Uh, I've made a backing track for you and I've written a chart out for you as well, which is available from Sax School. Um, so we'll start off by, I'll, I'm going to play it through with the backing track first of all. I'm actually going to play a shorter version of it, just one time through with the backing track, and then we'll go back and we'll learn the notes step by step. Okay, cool. So it's a lovely little tune, and uh, it's fun to play along with that backing track as well because it's uh, I think it just makes it sound kind of jazzy and Christmassy and fun, right? Okay, so let's have a look at this. On the alto saxophone, in this key, we're actually in the key of E major, and that means we've got four sharps. So all the way through, you're going to see F sharps, you're going to see C sharps, you're going to see G sharps, one, two, three, that little key over here, and you're going to see D sharps. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and our D sharp key down here, that little finger. Um, the, uh, like I was saying, it's quite repetitive actually, this tune, so uh, that makes it easier for learning. The very first phrase starts on a low E, and the notes are this. E, G sharp, B, then up to E with the octave key on. E, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. So again, E. G sharp, B, E, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. The next bit's almost the same. E sharp, G sharp, sorry, E, G sharp, B, E, B. Should we try that much so far? Nice and steady. One, two, three. <laughs> So now we're doing a jazzy version of this tune, so I'm going to jazz up the rhythms a little bit, just swing them a little bit, make them a bit more relaxed, a bit more fun. The next phrase is kind of the same shape, but it starts on a G sharp. So we've got G sharp, B, E, high G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A, G sharp. So again, it's G sharp, B, E, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B. A, G sharp. All right. The next phrase is kind of like the first one. E, G sharp, B, E, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. Actually, you know what? To, um, to make it a little bit cooler, just before we go into that phrase, we might do a B. So we'll go B down to an E. G sharp, B, E, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. And the next phrase, same again, E sharp, G sharp, B, E, B. And then uh, this last phrase of this section, we've got a little pick up this time, but this time we're going to go A, A sharp, and A. Uh, sorry, B, A sharp, and A. And down to the G sharp. So B, A sharp, A, as a little triplet pick up, and then G sharp. 
And then G sharp, B, E, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, F sharp, E. All right, so that's all the way through that first A section. Let's try playing all of that together, but nice and slowly. See if we can get all those little pickups, little triplets and things. You up for the challenge? Here we go. From figure A, one, two, three, and. <laughs> the whole of the first A section. So let's have a look at the B section now, the middle bit. So this is from bar 21 in your music, and it starts a high G sharp. Here's the notes. There's two phrases in here, really. So the first phrase goes G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, B. So one more time. G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then D sharp, B. Should try playing that first little bit. So from G sharp, bar 21, here we go. One, two, three. The next phrase is sort of the same shape, but it starts on E. E, 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 D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. So remember, when you're learning a tune, you should really try and play, uh, try to get the fingers right first. So forget about blowing. The first step should always be working through the tune with your fingers making sure your fingers are moving really smoothly, you're keeping your fingers close to the keys, and uh, if you can get, once you get that part right, get you really comfortable with just the movement of your fingers, then move on to actually playing through the, the saxophone and blowing the notes out. So think about the no steps, and it's gonna make it much quicker for you when you're learning new tunes. So E, 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 D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, B, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, so let's go all the way through that B section from bar 21 on our G sharp. Here we go. One, two, three. So now we're down to figure C in the music. Now, figure C is basically the same as figure A. So we'll move through this pretty quickly. We've got a little pickup of a B first. That's the same as the first section. That's the same as well. That bit's a little bit different. So from bar 33, we start on the G sharp, and then we go to B, E, G sharp, and then a high A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Should try playing that. Um, bar 33, one, two, three. <laughs> Cool, just one phrase left to go, and it goes like this. 
G sharp, G sharp, down to A, C sharp, E, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E. Cool. So that's all the way through the melody. Now, uh, I've got a couple other things to tell you. First of all, the um, the backing track is actually twice through that melody. So all the notes that I've that I've shown you there, from the beginning of the chart all the way down to bar 39, uh, is the first time through, and then the backing track plays all the way through that again. So if you move on to the second page in the music, you can see the notes are exactly the same. That's the first thing I've got to tell you. The second thing I've got to tell you is that there is just one change at the end of the second time through the melody, and that's where the tempo changes a little bit. We do a little slow down thing. Um, by the way, when I played it through for you with the backing track, I played a shorter version of it, and I only played it through once. So just to save a bit of time in the lesson, really, and, uh, and so you could hear what happens at the end of the second time. So let's skip forward to that now. So I'll tell you what, first of all, we'll play all the way through the melody from the top of the page down to 39, and then we'll move over to look at the second, second page. You with me? So from figure A, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> So that's the first time through, and then we go through and play all that through the second time for um, the second page of the music. Okay, let's have a jump forward now and look at the part where it gets slower. So, if you have a look in your music, uh, on the, it's the last phrase really, it's from bar 73 in your music. There's a few things that are marked on the chart. The first thing is in bar 73, it says slower. Uh, it says, sorry, it says rel, uh, which actually is short for rallentando, which in music means gradually slower. So the tempo slows down in that bar all the way through gradually into bar 74. And in 75 it says slower, and that's where we start playing. And we play the, this phrase. <laughs> you know that phrase, right? Because we've already learned the notes from the first time through. So the notes are exactly the same. It's just that we play them a little bit slower through there, just for a little bit of Christmas drama and tension and, and uh, a bit of effect, okay? So slower through bar 75, slower through bar 76, and in bar 77, it says our tempo. And in music, that's the way we say back to the original tempo. So when we get to bar 70, 77, right on beat one of bar 77, it's back into our tempo or the original speed. And that takes us through to the end of the chart. We've got four bars of resting then, where the rest of the um, horns are doing the intro or the outro line. It's the little line from the beginning of the chart, which gets played again at the end. And in the very last bar, I've got one last bar to show you. There's this rhythm. It sounds like this. The notes are dead easy. It's E, then another E, and then an F sharp. 
But the only tricky thing about it really is the rhythm. If you have a look at the, the two E's, there's actually, there's a rest and then there's two E's that each of them are a crotchet or a quarter note, which is normally one beat. But there are the three things, the rest and the two notes are actually grouped together as a triplet. So that means, as you probably know, triplets are three notes in the time of two notes. So we've got a rest and then two more one beat notes. So all of that, three of them, are in the time of two of them. So three notes happen in the time of two beats. So the rhythm sounds like this. Triple it, or one, two, three. Or in our case, the first one's a rest, and then we've got two notes. So it's rest, da, da, da. Rest, da, da. And then our last note, the F sharp. You with me? So if I play it for you, one, two, three, does that make sense? Three, four. And if you ever listen to the backing track, that's exactly what the rest of the band is doing as well. So if you're unsure about the rhythm, listen to the backing track and follow along with them and you'll be spot on. All right, cool. So that's all the way through this chart. I hope you've enjoyed uh, working through it. And don't forget to have a go um, at using the Sax Tracks app with the backing track. If you, you can download the backing track that I've given you here, put it into your iTunes, and then put it straight into, it'll, it'll come straight into the Sax Tracks app on your iPhone or your iPad, and then you can actually record yourself along with the backing track. Share it with your friends uh, or send it to me and I'd love to have a listen, see how you're getting on. Maybe I can leave you some comments and um, I'd love to hear your progress, but I might be able to offer some advice on how you can improve as well. So, Merry Christmas, practice hard, I'll see you next time.